Hi guys, welcome to Ahima. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the coefficient of correlation and the coefficient of determination. But first, let's understand what is each one. The coefficient of correlation basically measures the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two variables, which is going to be x and y. Then the determination, which is r squared, as you can see this is r and this is r squared, it determines how accurate the linear regression will predict the values of y. So let's do a simple example, but before I go there, look what's going to happen. The correlation, the values, can go from negative 1 to 1. Now, when you have like a negative correlation, for example, I'm going to put an example, drinking versus the ability to drive safely, the more you drink, the less is your ability of driving home safely. Then that's going to be an example of a negative correlation. If there is no correlation, that means that the R is equal to zero. There is no relationship between the two variables. For example, drinking water and winning the lottery. You, there, is, there is no relationship between those two. Positive correlation is the more you study, the better grades you get. So as you can see here, the, the coefficient of correlation goes from negative 1 to 1. Now, the coefficient of determination will always be positive because, look, it's an R squared. It's going to range from 0 to 1, and basically a high, a high value indicates that the linear regression model is a good predictor to explain the relationship between the x, which is the independent variable, and y, which is the dependent variable. So let's do a fun example. Let's say that um, I went ahead and I got a couple cupcakes for during the week, and I'm tracking my weight gain. I love cupcakes. So if I eat two cupcakes that week, maybe I will, I'm just exaggerating this problem, obviously, gain three pounds, five cupcakes, then during that week I could gain seven pounds and so on. Today we're going to learn how to find these coefficients and the linear regression in the TI-84. So let's do it. Okay, so we have the calculator. Let's go to stats, then click enter. When you go to edit now if you have numbers here you can clear them out by doing up then once you're in the l1 just do clear enter and that's going to clean everything so here i'm going to put my x values which is the amount of cupcakes a week two five eight twelve and then on l2 i'm going to go ahead and do the weight gain so three pounds seven pounds remember this is just a simple example and then five, then I can click on stats again and look what's gonna happen. You can go ahead and go to Cal and just go to the linear regression, which is number four. But I want a little bit more than that. So actually go to test and go all the way down and you, you will see in one of your choices, um, the linear regression of the t-test, click enter. And look at this, it's going to ask you list one, list two, then go all the way down and here just click not equals to zero and finally just put calculate. And look at this, it's going to give you all the information you want. It's going to give you, if you go all the way down, it will give you the A value, which is going to be um, the constant, the B value, which is the slope. It's going to give you the R square which is right here, 0.1024. It's going to give you the R, which is 0.32. And those are the values that we were looking for, the coefficient of correlation and the coefficient of determination. Okay, so we have the results, and we got that the coefficient of determination was 0.1024, or as a percentage, 10.24%. This is a really small value. So maybe this is not a good predictor. Maybe cupcakes are not the responsible of the weight gain. Also, the R, which is the coefficient of correlation, is a 32%. It is positive. That means that the more cupcakes, the more weight gain. But it's a very weak correlation. So maybe I'm eating other, other type of food that is making the weight, uh, you know, my, my weight gain. Probably not only cupcakes. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Please don't forget, go to our website and also thanks so much for learning.